Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. A spring storm is headed our way. That could bring us a threat of severe weather later in the day tomorrow, especially as we get to the evening. This evening, we shouldn't have to worry about that. A nice mild evening on the way and a bit breezy. Temperatures will remain in the 60s and only a very slight chance of a passing shower. We've had a couple of uh, very spotty sprinkles, mainly over the eastern part of our viewing area here over the past couple of hours. But right now, back to dry weather. We're expecting showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. A spotty evening shower, mild temperatures staying in the 60s. 60s windy on Wednesday with showers and thunderstorms. Heavy rain and some of those storms could be severe as we get to the evening hours. Some breezy and cooler Thursday drying out and right now at least uh, Easter looks cool and dry. Uh, precipitation chances very high on Wednesday as you can see backing off to zero during the day on Thursday and then Friday and Saturday low chances of, of a spotty shower late to Friday and also Saturday. We're under a slight risk of severe thunderstorms for Wednesday and Wednesday night, uh, mainly Wednesday evening for us. And and an enhanced risk to the west of us out over central Indiana and back west out into Illinois. And right now our greatest risk, strong damaging winds. Uh, we could see wind gusts up around 60 miles per hour, maybe even a little bit more with some severe thunderstorms and that cold front coming through. But even then also a low risk of some large hail, a low risk of an isolated tornado or two and the flooding potential also on the low side. Uh, but nonetheless, some heavy rain will fall. Even tonight and tomorrow, we're going to get gusty winds outside of thunderstorms. Could kick up 30, 35 miles per hour overnight. And then winds tomorrow uh, could be gusting up to around 40 miles per hour or so as we get to the middle part of the day. Live Doppler 2 HD right now, we're looking at mostly dry weather. We are getting some light blips on the radar uh, down near Cincinnati. So maybe an isolated shower this evening. But the real active weather west of us in the Plain States, tornado watches in effect into Iowa, Nebraska, and heavy snow already falling up in North Dakota. It'll still be falling tonight and tomorrow, and the winds tomorrow over parts of North Dakota could be gusting to 55 miles per hour, and blizzard warnings in effect could be up to uh, two, two and a half feet of snow uh, by the time the storm's all finished, not to mention the drifting with those kind of winds. Lows tonight, you can see dropping into the low 60s for us. Uh, over most of the region, so not much drop off tonight. And then highs tomorrow, mid to upper 60s uh, to around 70 in Troy, and it looks like some low 70s uh, south of Interstate 70, and high temperatures on Thursday, cooling off upper 50s to about 60. Right now, mostly cloudy skies in Springfield on the Duncan Oil Company camera, and currently in Dayton, 66. South southeast wind at 11 miles per hour, 73 percent the relative humidity. Our weather checkers tonight, mid to upper 60s. Uh, Tom Wyckoff and Springfield 65, 67 Barbara Richards in Kettering, and uh, out in New Paris, David Wessler at 66. Let's take a look at that forecast tonight. We're expecting a slight chance of a spotty evening shower, otherwise mostly cloudy tonight, down to 62 and breezy. Showers, thunderstorms tomorrow. Some of those could be severe as we get to the evening, and it'll be a windy day tomorrow. 60s in the morning, maybe making the low 70s in the afternoon. Thursday, breezy and cooler, right around 60. 64 on Friday, slight chance of some showers late day. Cooling off to highs in the 50s over the weekend. Easter Sunday looks dry. Uh, rain likely Monday, unseasonably cool early next week, Monday and Tuesday.